How to hire a roofing contractor you can trust. Hiring a roofing contractor sounds like quite a chore. If you've never had a pleasant experience with a contractor before, you're used to the usual complaints of late work, projects going over budget, and plenty of excuses. Well, things don't have to be that way. As long as you do your homework up front, you should have no problem identifying a few contracting companies that will take care of your roof with an honest appraisal and dedicated work. Good roofing contractors are breaking the myth. When you work with a contractor, you take a risk and essentially agree to be at the contractor's mercy for a period of time. So when contractors double the amount of time they originally estimated, or double the budget, you feel lost. And it's the fear of entering a situation like this that makes many people balk at the idea of a contractor when they can just do it themselves. In some cases, you might be able to handle a roofing job yourself. But in many cases, a roofing contractor's expertise, experience, labor and tools simply make him or her far better equipped to handle the job. Should you fix it yourself? Before you consider a roofing contractor you'll want to make sure that you know the job is out of your hands. When it comes to the world of roofing here's a rule of thumb. It's probably out of your hands. Roofing can be a dangerous job if you don't know what you're doing. There are advantages to hiring a roofing contractor. Even if you're the type of type A personality who really likes to get his hands dirty and handle the problem himself, hold up. You really might miss out on some advantages that you can glean when hiring a roofing contractor. Setting your type A instincts aside for a while can really help you relax, cool down, and enjoy it as someone else handles the work for you. Extra labor means quicker turnaround. Do you have a big roofing job to complete? Do you really want to complete it yourself or would you rather have a roofing contractor with a team of four or five professional roofers handle it for you? As we saw earlier, only some 21% of roofing contractors are self-employed in the United States, at least according to statistics in 2010. What does this mean? It means that many roofing contractors are people who are working for an employer. And since there are a lot of these people, you'll be able to take advantage of a contractor's team and get the work done far more quickly than you would have been able to handle it yourself, no matter what your skill level. You can deal with other things. Outsourcing work is a great way to delegate worry. If someone else's job is to worry about the roof, and you know it's their job because you're paying their contract, then you get to kick your feet up, or at the very least concentrate on other types of work that you want to get done. You get a professional quality job. A professional has the expertise and experience to give your roof a professional finish using tips and tricks that only come with a lot of experience in the trade. No matter how much googling you do, you won't be able to pick up all of this experience that quickly. So it's best to leave the professional look to the professionals. They're the ones who've seen it all and know how to customize and tailor each job to suit what your roof needs. It doesn't have to be a bad experience. Good roofing contractors stay in business for a reason, especially if they have a lot of competition. They stay in business by offering quality services at a reasonable price. There's no magic secret to making it as a roofing contractor, just as there's no simple magic secret to finding a roofing contractor that won't stiff you. Both of you just have to put in the proper amount of work to get what you want. Remember, the word contractor doesn't automatically mean bad contractor. Make sure you check the myths at the door and concentrate on the positive, finding a contractor that will deliver the goods. You want roof repair and maintenance done on time and on budget. They're simple requests, so the more you know about roofing contractors and how to discern the good from the bad, the quicker you can get that roof fixed already. First, a word on gathering estimates. Getting an estimate on a roof contract can be a tricky business sometimes. You want to be sure that the estimate is accurate, but you also want to take your roofer's word for it. Sometimes the old motto of trust but verify can really apply to these types of situations. Gathering estimates for the project you have is a great time to set up some competition between contractors. Gather some estimates and let them know that they're essentially bidding on the job. Make sure you tell them if you have any special concerns, such as promising a quick turnaround, rather than simply bidding the lowest price. 
Be sure to talk to each roofer about your needs specifically so you can get an idea of their expertise and a gut level feeling as to how effective they might be if they tackled your project. What are some great ways to gather estimates? Simply call a contractor and invite them out, but be sure to tell them exactly what you're looking for. Don't tell them you have a job for them and then tell them that you need a bid or an estimate once they get there. Find quotes online. Some larger companies should be able to offer you general quotes online and this can make an excellent first step into research if you're considering a large project at some point in the future. Be specific with your needs. If you have a hard deadline, make sure you tell the contractor at the outset. If you have a budget, make sure you let them know about that as well. Tell them that you won't pay anything more than the budget, for example, and you may find that they magically have a way of meeting that budget. But setting expectations early on is crucial. So what's next? It's time to take a look at all of your estimates and figure out which contractor really will be the best one for the job. It's time to whittle your list down of potential contractors. How to select the right roofing contractor for you. The question of selecting the right roof, roofing contractor is something that doesn't exactly lend itself to a formula. Every contractor will be different, and every contractor will have prices, experience, and reputations that make each choice you make different from the choice someone else might have to make. But you can get yourself to make an educated guess simply by working on some principles that can help you narrow down your list. First, gather a few contacts. You can use plenty of methods for this part, whether you're thinking of using search engines, phone directories, referrals, other contacts like hardware stores, or responding to advertisements. Even in a tough economy, you should have no problem finding plenty of available contractors. You might even be able to find more in a tough economy because so many of them are looking for people that are hiring. But gather a nice healthy list, maybe even a list that includes more contractors than you think you should look at. Don't worry, all you have to do is cross one of them off the list later on if the list is too big. Whittling down the list will be the next step. Comparing estimates. In the world of contractors, an estimate is like currency. The more estimates a contractor can do, generally the more leads they'll have out there. You're going to be a lead to a few contractors here because you're trying to find an, a few estimates in order to determine which roofing contractor actually suits your individual needs. But what are those needs? Let's take a look at some of the priorities that might be important to you. Lowest price. Adherence to deadline. Quality of work. Accuracy of estimate. The point is you want to look at all of these things when you're comparing estimates. There are of course other factors to consider, but these are some of the most important variables in any project you want to think about. Which of these priorities really stands out to you? When you get an estimate, estimate, communicate these priorities to the contractor you're speaking with so that they can offer you a solution tailored to your priorities. If they're incapable of handling that, guess what? They're probably not the right contractor for you. How can they handle your roof if they can't even handle a few upfront questions? Be willing to give them a quick cross-off if the estimation process is already too involved. You want to find a contractor that operates more like a well-oiled machine than a snake oil salesman. Get your estimates down on paper and take some time to compare them. Word of mouth. One of the most powerful advertising methods in the world is word of mouth marketing. And if you're a bad company, you're probably not going to do well in this department. Why? Because a reputation can be a fragile thing. Good companies will protect it, while lesser companies will find themselves exposed to negative word of mouth. Using referrals is a great way to ensure that you're finding the people with the good kinds of reputations, but you'll need to be aware that sometimes referrals can be by design. Be sure to consult with more than one party to ask about local contractors, and you'll generally get some good ideas. Sure, some people might contradict each other, but try to get a general feeling as to the best roofing contractors in your area. If you live in a small town, they might not even be a best, but instead focus on finding quality, such as the most reliable. Accreditation and licensing. 
You don't want to work with a roofer who doesn't meet the legal requirements of contractors in your state. So be sure to run a simple check on a roofing contractor you're considering by asking them about their accreditation and licensing. You can avoid asking about these things if you can find roofing contractors in directories like the National Roofing Contractors Association, but otherwise, don't hesitate to ask about a roofing contractor's credentials. If you're meeting them for the first time, how else can you know that they at least adhere to some sort of standard? Making the selection. How to select the right roofing contractor for you. After you've put in plenty of homework, compared estimates, and gotten lots of leads on contractors, and have checked out licensing and, and accreditation, you're ready to make a decision. But which do you go with? Your head or your heart? You'll actually find that listening to your instincts can really do you well. When you have an odd experience with someone during an estimate meeting, you may find that odd feeling lends itself to problems down the road. These instincts aren't always accurate predictors of the exact experience you'll have, but don't discount these feelings. Once you've put in enough homework to satisfy your head, go with your gut and choose the roofing contractor you think will do the best job given your project's parameters. Voila! Inform the roofing contractor of your decision and arrange things so that they can get to work as soon as possible.